Hello, I'm gonna show you how to make a stopwatch program in uh, Visual Basic 6. Uh, and here's my program, it looks like this. You can start and stop here, here's seconds, minutes and hours. Uh, when you stop it, it stops. And when you reset, zero, zero, zero. Start, again, stop. And if you press uh, X, it comes up your time in uh, information window. Okay, and uh, now open, open, start, and Visual Basics, and select standard EXE. Uh, I'm not gonna do a fancy one like mine, but I'm gonna do a simple one. Um, and we make, we're gonna make, uh, zero, no, oh, crap, zero, uh, this one label with zero, another label with zero, and a third label with zero. Okay, and a start and stop button. That's everything really uh, okay uh, then we're gonna go to the form properties um, gonna change the name to stop watch uh, we're gonna uh, take the Order style to a fixed single so that it's only an X and not a minimize or uh, anything of others. Um, that's it. Uh, we're gonna go here, change the caption of the command button to start and stop, uh, and then we need a timer. Uh, you can find that here and uh, press that one and make one here and then on my timer and my timer I'm gonna make uh, a code label 3 dot caption equals value of label 3 um, itself <laughs> dot caption plus value one and if a uh, label three dot caption is sixty seconds then label uh, two dot caption equals label two dot caption Oh crap. Value, sorry. Value of label 2 dot caption plus value 1. And let's make the label 3 dot caption go back to 0. And then if label 2 dot caption is 60 minutes, then label one dot caption um, is value of label one dot caption what caption <laughs> caption plus val value one uh, and then label Yeah, label two dot caption goes back to zero minutes. Zero minutes and if and and if uh, because there's two if statements. Um that's it really. Uh that's the timer. And when you 
make a timer you get go to the properties and set the interval to 1000 that means uh, it uh, loops itself after one second that's that and now uh, go back to your form uh, type a command on the start stop button uh, timer one dot enabled equals false no wait if timer one dot enabled equals false then timer one dot enable equals true else timer one dot enabled equals false and if uh, and on the form you want to write code to make the the stopwatch not start when you load it so timer one dot uh, enabled enabled <laughs> equals false uh, like that that should be okay now let's test it here we got it just press start and stop one two after 60 seconds it will go to one minute and zero seconds after that it will go to an hour if the minutes go reach 60 uh, and you can stop it stops and click back like that there you go, you got a stopwatch, an easy one. Mine is got a, got a lot of other features. It's more better looking than the little thing was right there. Um, when I press X, it stops there and it says my time. And then I click OK, it disappears. Okay, thank you for watching.